with Collard Valley Cooks. Happy Valentine's Day. It's going to be a very simple Valentine's Day for us. Chris has fished today. So I thought, I was sitting up there and I thought, you know what? I haven't done anything for Valentine's Day. What am I going to do? I've been sick, so I haven't wanted to cook. And so let me show you what I did. I ordered something from Ingalls. I ordered me a bouquet of flowers. They were $7. I'm, we're going to cut them and put them in this vase. And then we are going to, uh, I'm making some green green beans. I've got a sweet potato in the air fryer and I ordered their fried chicken. They didn't have any hot fried chicken. All they brought me was the cold, but Chris likes cold fried chicken. I'll warm mine up, but he'll eat his cold. And so that's what's happening. How are y'all doing tonight? I know it's Valentine's Day. So... What we're going to do right quick is I'm going to take out these $7 flowers and get them in this vase. And then we're going to start my potato back up. I'm just making it in the air fryer. And I'm going to show y'all how we're going to have a quick, simple Valentine dinner. Even when you're sick. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut these. I wanted to see about how tall they were for my vase first before I cut them. So, I like to spread them out just a little bit. I didn't get the roses. I just got the $7 bouquet. I'm just going to barely cut them. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's put us some more stuff in here. So this will help me feel like it's Valentine's Day, even when you're sick, right? So we're going to get some water in it. Oh, my Lord! Bless y'all's hearts. Y'all just fail. Sorry about that. We're going to get some water in this vase. Chris is not here. He's still fishing. I figure he'll call me, probably say, honey, do you want me to pick up dinner? And I'm going to go, no, I've got dinner. And he's going to wonder how in the world I make dinner when I haven't been feeling good. I actually cleaned some house today. I did some dusting today. And I got super excited because one of my, vi not violets, one of my orchids is about to bloom. So we're going to put this over here on the table. Let me show you all what I got over here. So on this bar, what I'm going to do, let me turn this around for y'all, is I'm going to have these flowers. I could arrange them a little better. Okay, I'm going to have these flowers in this vase. I'm going to light a candle. They had these candles on sale for $8.99, I believe. I got some sliced strawberries in sugar and I put them in the microwave and defrosted them. I got a, a butter pound cake and this is what you have to do y'all when you're sick and you can't cook. Um, we are making some granny green beans. I hope I'm on Collard Valley Cooks. I don't really know if I am or not. Am I on Collard Valley Cooks y'all? We got a sweet potato in here. And when I make my sweet potatoes on this kasori, I use the French fry setting and I, and I cook it twice on this setting. I think, okay. And then it has a really nice, um, it does a really good job baking your potatoes. Now what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna take some of these chocolate um, melt, things. They're Wilton. I got them on sale at Ollie's Outlet. We need to use them before they go out of day. And we're going to put them in the microwave. I'm just showing you how I'm doing a really fast Valentine's Day for me and Chris. All right, we're going to use um, melt soften. Here, let me clear it. Melt soften to 
go to the number two for chocolate, it says. So we'll hit the start button. All right, so I'm going to set y'all back up here. We're going to make our little strawberry shortcake. We're going to dip a couple of strawberries. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make something on the, when you're in a hurry, okay? Let's put all this in the trash from my uh, flowers. Okay, that's that. Now, Chris is getting fried chicken, um, those granny green beans. And now what we're going to do is I got some strawberries, and I've already washed them. Let me turn this around. And y'all remember, I don't have a lot of energy, so I'm just doing what I have the energy for. So I got these strawberries. And I'm going to get me out a piece of parchment. And I didn't even cut it. <laughs> I'm doing this quick. Okay, well, we're going to lay it right here. I'll move over. I'm going to lay it right here. And let's go check on our chocolate. Not ready. Now, when you do um, the chocolate strawberries, you can take a little bit of white chocolate and melt it as well and drizzle on the top of the chocolate, you know, if you really want to make them fancy. Of course, I've got some white chocolate chips. I don't know if we're going to go all out and do that or not. You can tell these are getting really close to the liquid being gone. See how they look? So, those will be good in a few minutes. So when I was dusting today and I had to water my plants, one of my orchids is blue, and I'm so excited. Okay, here's our chocolate. Let's stir it up and see how warm it is and how much it might need more warming. Now, you're probably wondering why I've got it in such a little bowl, because... Um, the smaller the area that you dip your strawberries in, the better off you are. I'm going to put this back in there. It's not even close to being ready. Woo, I'm tired already. How are y'all doing? Y'all having a good Valentine's Day, do you think, today? One thing I'm going to tell y'all that I've done today, Chris don't even know it yet, is I have noticed this past year our videos on YouTube, the monetization uh, revenue amounts have been a lot different. And I noticed that the audience retention has went down in the first 60 seconds of watching the videos and I don't know if that's because of my theme song or because I don't have those old intros on there anymore but um, some of them have been so low that I've actually took them off of public view and put them on members only and what that means really is that if you're a member, you can watch them. I'm not really encouraging you to be a member or anything like that. I just didn't want to put them on unlisted because if I do, it strikes against me in views. So I put them on members only. So if you're wondering what in the world is going on, that's what's going on. If you want to be a member, um, I mean... I don't even know that if I had, I don't even know if I have that turned on. I'll have to go back and look. But, you know, now YouTube is trying to get creators to find other ways of making money except just through their views. And all I know is those, the revenue on those videos are so low that 
it's killing us. So I'm just, instead of unlisting them, that's what I've done. If it's confusing to you, um, just search for it and hopefully you'll be able to, to get it. And if you can't, send me a message and I'll send you a private link or something. And um, I've got our chocolate melted. Now, these are really sizzling over here. And they're getting really close to being done. See how, how that looks. So at this point, I usually smash them a little bit to make them look like grannies out of the can. I don't smash them too much, but a little bit. So that those beans come out of a few. And then they look more like granny's green beans. And they don't taste like granny's green beans because of the way I'm cooking them. If you don't have that recipe for greeny green beans, um, just go on the just go on the website and you can get it. Okay. Now we're going to dip these strawberries real quick. So simple to do, and they cost too much at the grocery store. You can get a pint of strawberries for four dollars. And I guarantee you, you got some at home you could dip them in. And this is just going to be the icing on the cake for me and Chris tonight for our Valentine dinner. So if you can't, if you're like me and you don't feel good and you think you can't make something for Valentine's Day, if you can get Instacart, Order you some strawberries or some flowers. Even if you don't have, I know some of y'all have lost your husbands and wives this year. And I know that's super sad for you to be spending this Valentine's Day. But can I say, um, there's nothing wrong with you ordering your own self some flowers or going to pick up some and putting them in a vase. It just makes you feel good. You know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, I did. That's what I did today is I went and got my, I had my own flowers ordered. Because Chris is fishing. Well, let me tell you what he cares about. Fishing. Fishing and fishing some more. And I don't care that he fishes because we're retired. We spend a lot of time together. And that gets him out of the house and it gets me uh, time to myself as well. My daughter called. She said, you mean he left you on Valentine's Day? I said, well, yeah. Okay, so there's our strawberries. These are really ready, y'all. They are ready. They're sizzling for a while. We're going to turn them off. So when he gets home, he's going to have these green beans. Um, this fried chicken that I did not cook. We're going to, we're going to sprinkle these a little bit with the white chocolate. Why not? I say we do it. What do you think? I think they're pretty like that, but, um, we're just going to barely melt some white chocolate. Barely. Look, I got a bowl that's T90 with just a tiny bit in it. Because all I'm gonna do is dip a fork in it and drizzle the top of them. So I'm gonna put this right here on 30 seconds. And then we're gonna get out our pound cake. And I think what I'm gonna do is, um, we're gonna get out this pound cake we bought. It was $4. Lord, the ones from the bakery were expensive. I got all this at Kroger, actually. I didn't go to Publix this time. Beep, 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 beep. You know what, y'all? We'll put these on here. 
nice soft pound cake. And yes, I had some cake mixes, but y'all, I'm just too tired to do anything right now. I can't believe that I don't feel any better than I do yet. So now Chris is gonna want two pieces and I'll just eat one. So this will be mine. Let me show you how easy this was. Now I'm gonna wrap this in some wrap and, and put it back up. So we're gonna have these. And you can toast this if you want to, but I'm not going to. Um, let's get our white chocolate out. And remember that noise you hear is my um, air fryer over here making my potatoes. I'm just making a sweet potato. And I got store-bought chicken. These haven't melted yet, so we got to put them back in there. They're not ready yet. But let me tell you, my man loves fried chicken so much. He is not going to mind this dinner. So here's the fried chicken I got. I got Kroger fried chicken. He does not like Publix fried chicken. So I got Kroger's. And um, I am going to put this in the air and warm it up. Okay. This is a boring video, ain't it? I just want to say, I want y'all to see that I'm going to be romantic even when I don't feel good. Uh, let me show y'all this candle. That air fryer over there beeps because it wants you to, because I got it on the French fry setting and it wants you to shake the French fries, but we're not making French fries. So, so here's the peony. I love peonies. And they had this on sale today, so I got it. I don't want to get burnt. This is my daughter's lighter. Hey, I'm going to have to do that the other way, or I'm going to get burnt. Pick it up, woman. Amy smokes, and she decorates her lighters. She's so funny. My youngest smokes. All right, so there's our um, candle. Here's our strawberries. Um, look at this. The last time Amy came, she wrote on this for me. She put, hi, Mom, Amy. So I haven't even erased it because I like um, looking at it. It makes me feel good. All right, let's put the white chocolate on here and the strawberries on our cakes. Ooh. Ooh. Now this is real chocolate, um, and so it's going to be a little, it's not going to melt quite as easy as the melts do, and it's going to be thicker, so I'm going to have to put just a tiny bit of shortening your and I think it wouldn't hurt to use butter I've never used butter before and I don't want to mess it up so I'm just going to use a little shortening tell me if you've ever used butter instead of shortening and tell me if it worked I mean we have time that I could have probably done it it only takes a little bit of shortening and what that does is it melts in there and it makes it shinier and thinner so that you can um, drizzle it. You are making a mess, Tammy. All right, now I'm going to stick it back in the microwave and get it really, really hot. We're going to drizzle it. Got 
decided on me. You know what? We could have put little hearts on them. We could have done that, but I didn't think about it till now. I don't want to get burnt either. Okay. If this don't get thin enough for me, this is uh, chocolate chips, and I don't remember what brand it is. This white chocolate. Who'd own it? It's not getting thin as I want it to. Okay, that might work. We're just going to try this, y'all. It's better than nothing, ain't it? What y'all telling? Say it's better than nothing, Mr. Nichols. Oh, I better move this. Will you get off that fort, you silly goose, Lucy? So then you just get it on there the best you can. And it don't have to be a lot. I actually like it when it's a little bit like this one. I think it's prettier. Now, if you got this at Kroger, it would cost you like 10 bucks or something. I think it was like eight or nine dollars for four something crazy like that and look we just did that so fast all right so this is how we're going to do our cakes i've just got the the cool whip that squirts out of the thing and i was too tired today to even make my strawberries that's pretty tired so i got sliced strawberries and sugar Frozen, ready to eat, and all we're going to do is dip them onto the cake. I'll go ahead and make me one for y'all. So y'all can see my easy dinner. Boy, I worked real hard, didn't I, y'all? <laughs> Not, but that's all right. There you have it. All right, let me pick this up. I'm going to get a bite of this. And... Tell you how good it is. We'll get about a strawberry before we go. And then I don't even know when Chris is coming home. He hasn't called yet. So he must be fishing till dark. So there's my strawberry shortcake. If you still don't have anything and you can get Instacart, get you a little vanilla pound cake, some frozen strawberries. Just top it in strawberries and sugar in some Cool Whip or some whipping cream in a can. To me, there's nothing better than strawberry shortcake. Mmm, it's so good. Get you a pint of strawberries for about four bucks. Go in there and melt you some chips. And if it's thick, put your little shortening in it. And then you'll have chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> if you're by yourself, we 
it's okay. It's okay to be by yourself. I can't even recall how many Valentines I've spent by myself. Amy and her friend are going to hang out together today. And um, here, let me push that up a little bit. Oh, good. Amy and Nova are going to hang out together today. But look how pretty. You can treat yourself like I did. As soon as I finish this, I'll be nice and talk to y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all have any questions? While I've got you on, on here live. Oh, my question just went away. Here they are. I am by myself. Happy Valentine's Day. Gar Garadelli is the only name brand that I have found that has real white chocolate chips. That's probably what it is. Y'all see how red I am? I'm just, it's whatever this is. I bought 800 tea lights. Only 350 left. I like them all day long. <laughs> How's Soda? Soda is doing very good. Every day she learns her steps better as to where she is in the house. And so she's doing really good. Um, I really think she is. So now all I have to do is that potato's got two minutes left. All I have left to do is put the chicken in there. And um, warm it in the air fryer. I've got strawberry shortcake. I've got chocolate covered strawberries. I've got grainy green beans and fried chicken. I've been a widow for many years, and my daughter and son bought me flowers. That's so sweet. Okay, you have questions about biscuits. Look, if you will take a look on uh, YouTube at my playlists, there's biscuit playlist. I think there's 32 videos in there. And unless I get rid of a few today as I'm going through these videos that have a really bad revenue, um, I'm sure there'll be at least 20 left in there. Really watch those tutorials. I'm telling you, the tutorials are going to teach you how to make those biscuits better than anything. Jamie says she hasn't been able to watch much because she's been so busy with birthdays and stuff. I have lost some weight. Um... My husband will be thrilled. I know. I hope he caught some fish. He's got to read. He's not catching anything, but it's because the water's been so cold for this for this area. We don't normally have this cold of weather. And this morning when I got up, and I got up close to 9 o'clock, it was 38 degrees. Oh, that's Cali Cal Caliber, I guess is your name. You're a guy. I'm so sorry. I think I called you something else. Um, this old guy can still learn. Yes, you can learn. Absolutely. There's a lot of people that have learned to make biscuits through my tutorials on here that are, they've been cooking their whole life and just never got, you know, um, good enough to make a biscuit or, or, Really and truly, you just don't have enough experience yet. Um, and you really do need to watch tutorials for somebody um, that's never made biscuits before. And I'm going to tell you, the blending fork that I use is wonderful cut and shortening into flour. Um, now, you can use a regular fork all day long. I did it for years until I got that blending fork. But for a beginner, it sure is easy to be able to use that thing.
Oh, good. Somebody got the meatloaf pan. That thing was less than $10 yesterday. My Vegas fans. Well, it's good to see everybody tonight. I hope y'all have a good Valentine's Day. I really am tired already. Um, I'm going to show y'all my beautiful little um, orchid that she don't have bloom blooms on her yet, but she's got, my house is dark this time of night. She's got um, buds on her. But she's over here in the window, so y'all are going to be able to see it. I dusted in here today. Look at all the blooms that's on it. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blooms. So these are my orchids. Look at my little bird I got the other day. Isn't she cute? I think she's cute. All right. Oh, I'm tired. Y'all have a blessed evening. We thank you for watching Colored Valley Cooks. And hopefully I showed you how to throw something together uh, that didn't cost a lot of money. When you don't feel good, huh? You can still uh, make make a romantic something last minute if you have to just go in there and get some crayons and a piece of paper and make a card. You know, if you're sitting at home and your sweetheart hadn't got that there yet. Now, Chris, I didn't even get him a birthday card. He, he don't ever get me birthday cards. We usually go somewhere for my birthday because my birthday is May 2nd. Our anniversary is April 22nd. And um, Mother's Day is right in there in May. So what we typically do is just, that's when we take our vacation every year. And so we don't buy stuff. We hardly ever even get cards. Sometimes we do. But um, I got two cards from viewers, Valentine cards. They're in there on the table, and I thank y'all for those. Y'all have a blessed day, and remember what I said about the videos. I'm going through the videos, and all my videos that are have a terrible revenue, um, I'm getting rid of them because I have over a thousand on the on the YouTube page now. Y'all, that's just too many. Y'all, y'all aren't going to watch a thousand videos, so why not just go through and and, and keep the good ones, right? Y'all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time on Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Bye, y'all. Love you. Did I figure out how to do this? Oh, there it is.